All right, so got a, got a couple requests for this topic from Alex, setting up a one-step unit conversion. And uh, let's have a look at how these problems are laid out first before we get started. So looks like I'm, um, looks like I'm being told I've got this at some kind of a measurement and I'm supposed to convert it, got it. Okay, so I'm supposed to convert a measurement, I get it. Now, it looks like I'm going from joules per mole to kilojoules per mole and it also looks like it doesn't really matter what the what's being what the answer is, right? It just says I'm supposed to fill in the blue box, fill in the conversion factor so that the units will change from joules per mole to kilojoules per mole. Okay, so let's get started. Let me get a little bit of bigger marker here. No, bigger. Okay. All right, so I'm going to write it down here so we can see a little bit better. Um, let's go to black and see we've got. 62 uh, joules per mole and I want to go to kilojoules per mole okay so I'm gonna set this up with a picket fence um, the uh, where this is just a fraction 62 kilojoules per one mole which is what this is 62 kilojoules per mole and this is another fraction over here and this means a multiplication problem whatever's over here is going to be multiplied by that so and then this will be my whatever's inside here is going to be my answer right this is my conversion factor that I should work out so I'm going to go over here and look and see what's different right well it looks like moles are not different so I don't want to change that at all my moles are already here my moles are already here right so I don't want to lose those but aha, okay, looks like I've got joules over here and kilojoules over here. So I need to put, I need to get rid of joules. So these will cross off and introduce kilojoules, right? So, so far I'm, I'm almost there, right? That's going to be what I'm multiplying, but I can't just introduce some like arbitrary uh, conversion factor. It turns out that kilojoules and joules don't equal each other. So that's going to change if I multiply this, if these aren't equal to each other, I'm going to be multiplying the original number by some other number changing its value. So in a, for conversion factors, the top and the bottom have to equal each other. So how do I do that? Let me flip back and forth. I'm going to go over to Alex real quickly. Um, and it's going to look kind of like this, but I'm, it's going to maybe be a little uh, difficult on your eyes. See what I'm doing here? I'm going back and forth. Here's Alex, the actual problem. Here's the snapshot of the problem. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to find out how many joules are in a kilojoule or how many kilojoules are in a joule. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come over here to my data table and looks, you see where I got that? I clicked on this table, this data right here, and I'm going to come through and look for one here. Now to save video time, I'm just going to go right to the one I need. But when you're doing this, you should click through these and find out which one that, that, that's useful to you. And you'll, you'll get used to it eventually. And I see, okay, looks like kilo, right, means 10 to the 3. Kilo means 10 to the 3. So let me go back over here and say kilo means 10 to the 3. I'm going to put this in black so all my numbers are the same. Okay, Kilo means 10 to the 3. So this 1 kilojoule is going to have 10 to the 3 joules in it. And you see what I did? Kilo is here and kilo is here. So therefore the top and the bottom are equal to each other. And this is actually just a conversion factor, which is what I want. Conversion factor. All right, so there's my answer. It's one kilojoule over 10 to the three joules is going to convert this number to this. Uh, and this question mark, we don't care what the actual answer is, right? We're just looking for this. So let me go back over to red, circle my answer. And I'm going to type that into uh, Alex over here and see a green dot, okay? So it's going to be some parentheses, right? And inside that parentheses is a, is a fraction. And the top was 1 kilojoule. And the bottom was 10. 10 to the 3 joules. Oops, I don't want that. Let me go here. Joules. All right, is that right? J, J is smaller than I'm expecting, but I think that's right. Let me go back over and flip back one more time. What I've got is a fraction here, 
and I, I'm using a picket fence method where it just helps me see, helps my eyes see everything. But here's a fraction here. Here's another fraction. And this is the missing fractions, kj over j. And there it is right there. Okay, so let's check that. Hopefully we'll get some green here. And we'll say, all right, we solved that. Okay, so just back in review, what we did was we found, first of all, read the question, found what we needed to get rid of. We needed to get rid of this joules here. So we found a conversion factor that put the thing we're trying to get rid of on the bottom and the thing we're trying to introduce on the top, kilojoules is here, right? And uh, we just set, made sure our, our top and bottom equal each other, conversion factor, and then we plug it in. All right, hope that's helpful.